so very dull when human beings refuse to be anything more than their literal created selves. They are so very one-dimensionally literal that I decided to create a few demonstrations of my own on the physical level, that is. It was my objective to point out how very literal people were in my own unique way, and the opportunity came my way. On a very rainy day, a human did proclaim how it was raining cats and dogs. I think you know what's coming next. I jumped on his head and encouraged a selection of dogs and fellow felines to follow suit. I'm not sure he quite understood what I was trying to convey, as he emerged from the dog and cat pile. I suggested he look on the bright side, as far as he was able, given the current weather circumstances, at least the human expression wasn't along the lines of raining elephants and alligators. I had Rex the reptilian and Jumbo on standby. Should anyone utter such a version of the phrase? Cat Cosmic here, assisting the human race with my inimicable demonstrations, and sharing the words of Dwayne the Great Writer. Does it seem fair that controllers that have caused such turmoil, adversely affecting the millions that they have, and caused the demise of the environment, be accepted into the real universes? Well, they won't be instantly accepted into the real universes. They are still going to be on Earth for many lifetimes, but they do have the opportunity, if they accept it, to proceed. They still must face what they have done. Everyone must face themselves and get through it. They won't simply jump into the real universes. Yes, they know about the real guides. But this is all they know, now they must do it. And on another topic, that of comparing the ears to a god. When people compare the ears to a god, they are referencing themselves, and that's the only reference they may have. 
They have these ideas and are referencing them, their experiences with themselves. And it isn't this. Is the sun shining a god? No, the sun demonstrates no belief, happiness, or emotions. Always go to the sun and use it as a demonstration, as it is the best demonstration of the isness life is amongst many. This is a recognition, but for the personal mind, it's not going to recognize it. What people define as to what they see or consider, that's in the personal mind, and has nothing to do with the is. People can think whatever they want, but that's not it. You cannot consider it, so what is it? That's the challenge we all have, like the chicken in the egg, perturbed as to its dark environment, and not knowing where it is, but it must figure it out, and how to peck that shell. There's something within it that takes that first step to start pecking, and suddenly it sees a difference between the light it is now experiencing as it pecks through from the darkness it is in. So, moving along five thousand lifetimes, the individual would be, now I know what light is, and what darkness is, so I can compare the two. To get to your real awareness, more so than just the soul idea, you have a soul, or you are a soul, the master and student idea, etc. You must decide that, and you must decide to recognize and stand real with the is. You are the decider and the experiencer. It's not an application to something, it's a recognition of it. Even the sun shining in the sky is far too real for anything in this world. People can't even relate to that as a reference. And the true reality life is, is far too real. You have to see it in a particular way, and it is in the seeing, and not in the figuring out. Most people won't take the time, and will proclaim the is to be another word for God, 
but it isn't. It's nothing you can consider, but with these people, their personal lives come first. As long as the personal life comes first, you've made that choice, and that is what you have. And you can think and consider anything you want. People can have experiences with the guides, but they are just experiences. It's all about recognition of the ears. Real freedom lies within the isness. With the God idea, there is no freedom, as you are looking to an authority. The is is not an authority, and like the air you breathe, it supports you. The sun shining is not an authority. There is a difference. Because of how most people are brought up, they go back to the authority idea. They feel comfortable with that loved and secure, but in fact it is an insecurity, because you will continuously and unconsciously go through more lifetimes, because you've chosen it, you've chosen the authorities. It's something you cannot consider, and that's what the is is. You've got to figure it out. Oh dear, it seems the word on the street is that pecking is the key to the real universes. There's a mob of birds, and anything that has a beak attached to its face, pecking everything into destruction. The street is full of holes. Buildings are crumbling into dust. Man the defences. Or cat the defences, the studio is on a lockdown from beak-related assault. Methinks the pecking masses of critters may have taken what I said out of context. The example of the bird pecking the shell and making the comparison from earlier. What was it I was saying about literalism? Ah, there's new word on the street. I've gotten Rex to inscribe the phrase, Cease pecking. On the very street, the pecking creatures are massing upon. See you soon. If we get this situation under control, and the studio is still standing,